Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a brand new series, Welcome to Scrap Mechanic. This is a brand new game. Uh, it is set to be released on Steam on January 20th, I believe into early access. The developers were kind enough to hook me up with an early key for the game, and I figured I'd show it to you guys. I've been playing it a little bit, haven't really done a whole lot. So we are probably going to be learning this together kind of as we go. But there's some really cool stuff in this game. And right now, uh, all we have is creative mode. But I have a, I think it seems like they're going to be designing uh, that, it, that it will eventually have like some sort of survival mode as well. And it's basically a game that's all about creativity and building creations and all sorts of stuff. And the building mechanics are really, really well done. Also, game performance is extremely good for an early access game. Um, I'm recording right now, holding a very, very solid 60 frames per second. Uh, when I'm not recording, this game is runs at about 120 frames per second uh, on my computer, which is pretty good considering it's still really early in development. And uh, to kind of put that into perspective for you, Arc runs at like 60 frames per second on my computer when I'm not recording. And... Uh, barely over 30 when I am. So that I'm pretty impressed with the performance. I'm happy about that. But I want to kind of jump into a few things. Uh, really, the core of this game, as far as I can tell, is about building machines and vehicles. But you can also build structures and stuff as well. So like, for example, the building mechanics are pretty fantastic. I've got all this stuff in my hot bar here, and if I hit I to open up my inventory, there's a whole bunch of other stuff we can play around with as well. So, let's do away with a few of these things, and let's just grab a few different types of blocks. Let's grab metal, stone, and the barrier, and let's do the brick wall as well. Why not? Sure. That'll be cool. Okay. So let's, stay, let's lay down a bit of a foundation, and you can see I can place a block by uh, left-clicking and then right-click to get rid of it. If I want to place a larger area, I just drag, and if I want to take out, say, this section, I just hold, right-click, and drag, and it works out pretty well. So, very, very easy to build. Now, this is, once again, creative mode. I'm not sure how this will work uh, in some mode other than creative, but let's build, like, a little area... Um, actually, let's go, let's go a little bigger than that. Let's go, like, here. -ish. How big can I make this? I can make it about there. Let's go to about here or so. And then, uh, let's do, let's do another row like that. Oh, misplaced. There we go. Ooh, that's metal. I didn't want metal right there. Just kidding. Let's do the stone again. And, uh, let's lay down, like, a little stairway right here. That's cool. And then, if I want to change the plane that the wall will build in, I just hit Q, and it rotates, like so. So that's pretty easy. Let's go up to about there. And then let's go like that. Like that. And... Like that. There we go. And we have the beginnings of a house. Uh, let's actually build that whole thing in right there, and then let's carve out a little door. I think I actually want that door to be a little bit bigger. Let's do that. There we go. That should work. And we've got kind of this little house area in here. And then I'll take out the floor and this, and maybe we'll replace it with this kind of brick subs, this like brick tile type thing. And then right here, let's put a little uh, caution line. Cause that, that's kind of cool, I think. And then maybe, maybe we take this out and put in like a metal door frame. There we go, something like that. I think that's kind of cool. And then we can maybe do something with windows in here as well, like, uh, Maybe we'll do like a little four by, what would that be? Four by five? Four by five window there. Here we could do maybe two smaller windows. Ooh, those are, those are not symmetrical. That's gonna, that's gonna bother me. Mmm. Oh. Not loving that window. 
Let's do another 4x5 right here. And then for the sake of symmetry, we'll do that right here as well. Except that's a little too big. Let's go like there. And then over here, maybe we'll do like a 4x3 and a 4x3. Now, let's do two 4x5s like that. There we go. So our house has windows. Pretty cool. Okay. And then we can maybe put like a ceiling in here like that. And we got kind of the beginnings of a house. Now, you can jump, but in this creative mode, you can't fly. Instead, what you get is the lift right here. And I can use the arrow keys to raise myself up, which is pretty cool. So let's maybe grab, what do we want to use for the roof? Probably this tile again, I'm thinking. And we'll maybe go like to here. Ooh, that's going to be tough. There we go. We'll put that on. And then we'll end up bringing that out one. Maybe out two. Yeah, let's go out two for this particular house. And then we can do the same right here going around I mean look how easy look how easy building is in this game so we got kind of this little house shape going there and let's get ourselves back up there just like that there we go and let's see this is where our thing was so we'll go and build like a little platform type thing going up like that maybe and then we'll do the same right here Just kind of lay out our roof shape that we want like so like that and can I get that up there probably not let's get our lift and put it right here there we go there. So we got kind of a cool little roof shape thing going here. And then we can just connect all of these up as well to kind of finish up our roof. Like that. And like so. Did that get both sides? Oh, I missed a side. There we go. You to there. You to here. You to there. Uh-huh. And there we go. So you got kind of a nifty little roof shape there. And then the other thing that I'll do, learning from my extensive Minecraft building experience, of course, is add these over here to kind of create depth. Um, I think I'm standing in the way. There we go. Okay, so we got that part done. And then we'll just match that up over here as well. And... Oh, I fell. Come here, lift. Oh, I, I think I actually have the lift in my inventory at the moment. Let's just jump on top of that. Ride that up. There we go. Mm-hmm. And there we go. We have ourselves a house. Nothing too fancy. Pretty simple. But, uh, you know, it's kind of cool. And I think it works out pretty well. We could even do something like this along these sections here. Like that. You know, kind of get something going there. Maybe, maybe we can surround... Oh, that's right. Surround this window frame here as well. Do the same with these. I mean, the building. The building aspect of this game is really, really user-friendly, which is awesome for someone like me. Uh, we'll get into vehicles and stuff for sure as well, because there's some really cool stuff you can do there. Oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. There 
we go. Something like that. And then maybe we'll take these out and put, like, uh... Maybe we'll put the caution... The caution sign underneath these windows. I don't know. I mean, I think you guys kind of get the idea. There's all sorts of cool things we can do here. Uh, and the building makes it pretty easy for that to happen. So, um... Yeah, I mean, just kind of wanted to give you a brief introduction to this, guys. We made a little house, which is super cute. It's adorable. I love it. It's amazing. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. If you're interested in seeing more of this game and series, don't forget to show your support. As for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.